Get ready to discover 13 Excel tricks that tackle everyday challenges faster. And yet, most users, even advanced ones, have no clue they exist. Let's change that. Here's the first one. If you've ever tried to copy data that contains hidden rows, you get a nasty surprise when data turns up you weren't expecting, like Brian and Ethan's records here. Let's Control Z to undo that. Instead, select the range and then Alt and semicolon to select the visible cells. Now you can Control C to copy and Control V to paste only the visible cells. You don't get any unexpected records. Try it yourself after watching the video. The link to the practice file is in the description. Okay, moving on. Imagine you have a table on one sheet, but you want a live preview of it on another sheet without having to refer to it every time something changes. It's easy. Select the data you want a preview of, Control C to copy, go to the sheet that you want to see the preview on, and then paste, and then down here we've got linked picture. Paste it where you need. It's an object that floats above the grid, so it's not constrained by cells. I'm going to Control X to cut it out, and I'm going to go back to the sheet it came from and just paste it in there. And you can see if I make a change here, for example, we change Mo Salah to 30 goals, the linked picture automatically updates in real time. It's like having a live security feed for your spreadsheet. Now, if you don't have linked picture available, you can use the old camera tool. Right click on your quick access toolbar, go in and customize it. Under the drop down here, choose all commands, select any of these items and type in CAM for camera. There it is there. Add it to your quick access toolbar, click OK. There's the camera tool. Select the data you want, press camera, click anywhere else to paste it. And now you have the same linked object. Let's give Mo Salah a couple more goals. And you can see both the camera linked picture and the pasted linked picture update in real time. We all know that if you want to get rid of duplicates, you just select your list, go to the data tab and then remove duplicates. It's detected the column, click OK and now it's removed two values and I've got three unique values left. But let's Control Z to undo that. The hidden gem most people miss is instead of deleting duplicates forever, you can create a unique list without touching the original data. So select the data, including the headings. On the data tab, click on advanced. This is the advanced filter. Here I want copy to another location. It's detected the list range because those are the cells I selected. Where am I going to copy it to? Well, we'll pop it in cell D4, and I want only unique records. Click OK, job done. Now you've got two versions, the full data and a fresh, clean, unique list. Of course, this list is static. If anything changes in my original list, then I'd have to recreate this. So if you're expecting changes, use the unique function, select the array and press enter. And there's my unique list. And if anything changes here, for example, we add grapes. Now my list automatically includes it. Did you know you can build a bar chart inside a cell with a formula? The shortcut is using the repeat or REPT function. The text I want to repeat is the pipe symbol, just creates a vertical line. And then the number of times will be based on my scores here. Close parentheses on repeat. It doesn't look great yet, but the trick is to use the playbill font. And now it looks like a bar. And because it's a font, you can increase the font size. We can apply color so it's in keeping with your theme. And let's copy it down for the other names. And if any of the scores change, the formula responds and my bar adjusts automatically. Ever need to type today's date into Excel and you start typing it manually? We'll stop right there because the keyboard shortcut control semicolon enters it for you. And all you need to do is press enter. It's too easy. Now, if you need a dynamic date that updates automatically, that's a different trick and we'll get to it soon, so stay tuned. Ever get stuck looking at a formula and not knowing what's wrong? In later versions of Excel, we can go into edit mode or in the formula bar and select an element and we get a tooltip that shows us how it's evaluating. We can step through the formula until we find the problem area. However, if you don't have this functionality, you can also use the F9 key. So for example, with my array selected, Pressing F9, you can see it evaluates in the formula bar and Control Z will undo it. I can select individual elements and evaluate them. 
control Z to undo. Just be careful because if you evaluate multiple elements, you can only undo the last one, in which case you want to press the escape key to revert back to your original formula. So the fix here is clearly we've got the wrong range in my match lookup array. So with that fixed, we now get the correct result. Once you get a taste for decoding formulas like this, you'll want to level up fast. I've got a full course on advanced Excel formulas that teaches you how to create error-proof dynamic spreadsheets. The link's in the description and pinned comment. Earlier, we looked at using the linked picture to keep an eye on data from another sheet. But what if you've got multiple cells spread across multiple sheets that you need to keep an eye on? For example, here I've developed a financial model containing my expenses, sales, and my summary. And I want to keep an eye on the effects changes make without jumping back and forth. Well, Excel has a secret tool called the Watch Window. It's on the Formula tab. It opens this toolbar and you can add cells to watch. For example, let's watch the net profit. Select the cell, click Add, and now it's in my list. I can go to Other Sheets and add them as well. So let's add the sales budget and we'll add the expenses as well. So now I've got three cells that I'm keeping an eye on. And no matter where I go, the watch window follows me. So if I change the sales budget here, say 60,000, keep an eye in the watch window, you'll see the figure for sales and my summary will increase. So I don't need to flip back and forth between the sheets to see the effect. Now, if you prefer, you can dock it above the formula bar. Just move it into place and it'll pop in. Left click and drag to move it out. You can also dock it at the bottom of the workbook or to the left and right. And when you're done, simply close it and it's gone. Here's a simple move that barely anyone uses. If you need to move a whole column or row without copying and pasting, just select it, then hover over the edge of the row or column until the cursor becomes a four-sided arrow. And then hold shift and left click and drag. You'll notice it places a line where it's going to insert that row. Release and your data is rearranged. It's super quick and easy. It also works for multiple rows, so you can just select them, move your mouse until you get the four-sided arrow, hold down shift, left click and drag, and release. A bonus tip, if you hold down control and shift at the same time, notice my mouse cursor now has the plus sign beside the arrow, left click and drag. If you want to insert the copied cells, hold down shift. If you just want to paste them, just hold down control. Practice these techniques and you'll never look back. Earlier we talked about inserting today's date with the control semicolon shortcut. But what if you want the date to update automatically to always show the current date? Well, we can use the today function. It doesn't need any arguments. Just open and close parentheses, press enter, and there's my date. It reads the date from your PC and will update automatically. You can also use this in formulas. For example, if we want to check whether the due date is less than today's date, and I'm just going to F4 to absolute the reference to the today function, or you could just type the today formula in here. This will mean it's overdue, otherwise it's on track. Close parentheses on if, copy it down, and then tomorrow when I open the file, this one will automatically update to be overdue. Most people think the only way to hide data in Excel is to manually hide rows or columns but this makes them difficult to work with. Instead, you can make the contents of the cell invisible without hiding anything, just by changing the cell format. To do so, select the cells containing the data you want to hide, press Ctrl-1 to open the Format Cells dialog box. On the Number tab, Custom. In the Type, enter three semicolons. Notice the sample shows you nothing. Click OK, and now the face of the cell shows nothing but I can still work with them in formulas. And if we look in the formula bar, you can see the value is still there. It's perfect if you want to work with confidential data while avoiding the prying eyes of nosy coworkers. And to bring it back, simply select the cells, remove the custom format, apply a general format or similar. Here's a common Excel mistake that catches people out. You've got some numbers that represent percentages, so you go ahead and format them only for Excel to show two and a half thousand percent and three thousand percent. The fix, let's control Z to undo that. Type 100 into any empty cell. Control C to copy, select the values, paste, special, divide. Click OK, 
Now you have the correct fractions. You can apply the percentage format. And now you have the correct values that you can use in formulas and the like. Most people think that autofill in Excel only works for days of the week and months, etc. But you can make Excel autofill your own custom lists. For example, if you find yourself entering the same list of items, it might be products, departments or teams like I have here, then set up a custom list. We do this via the File tab, down at the bottom, Options. On the Advanced tab, scroll right to the bottom, Edit Custom Lists. In here you can type in your entries or you can import them from a list, which I have here. So I'm going to click Import and you can see they've been added. Click OK and OK and now all I need to do is type in the first item and then I can left click and drag to auto populate my list. No more manual entry or errors. If you've ever printed an Excel sheet, whether on paper or to PDF, and page two looks like a crime scene because the headers are missing. Instead, let's escape out of there. Go to the page layout tab, go to print titles and on the sheet tab, you can choose the rows to repeat at the top. So I want row four to repeat at the top. By the way, you can also repeat columns on the left if you're printing in a horizontal layout. Let's go in and print preview. And you can see my headers are on every page. So no more confusing printouts or PDFs. I can't imagine my Excel life without these tricks, but there's one I rely on every single day. And once you see it, you wonder how you ever worked without it. It's right here in this video just 12 minutes that could change the way you use Excel for years to come. I'll see you there.